Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't set boundaries when I was dating, so th that will be a going forward sort of thing for me. But I think now that I know, and now that I know it is my identity, it can just come up in the beginning and I won't try to black out, drink myself into the next phase of the relationship because it doesn't have to go there. Honestly, setting boundaries has been kind of difficult because I'm always like, I've always been a people pleaser, like always. and. It's been difficult, but recently I've just been coming out with whatever is on my mind and it's been working pretty well. Like it does end up sometimes in like a difficult or uncomfortable conversation, but in the end, it's really good to have like a solution. Really introducing it into conversation early because there's no point in continuing that conversation if you're not on the same page right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, one thing I started doing, so I started dating something else that was non-binary, was just figuring out how to sort of just give a sort of a full disclosure, give like an overview, sort of hand somebody the manual of, okay, here is a book on everything on how I work, read it, learn it, forget about it, and kind of keep that in the back of your memory, just so you can kind of understand where each of you are coming from, because I feel like that a lot of the pressure, especially when you are dating and with other queer people, is just, there's a lot of backstory to you, and it's sort of, it's like, how do you sort of get somebody to understand all of that? in the context and again a lot of it may never come up but having the chance to be like okay here's everything you should know about me now let's start over and kind of slowly work away from again we'll have a rematch hand or from first dates that kind of process like maybe even calling it friends just here's all the possible things that could happen to just take some of the pressure off where you don't have to sort of worry about a lot of things coming out of the blue or worrying about sort of setting much of those toes or kind of those sensitive areas so i'm very straightforward about my upcoming occupation as a clinical psychologist um, that I'm ace, have a disability, um, and yeah, if they don't want to be consistent, we don't have to do anything. I tried different approaches to this over time, and I think that the one that works best is just having open communication, um, make, keeping an eye on how I'm doing, checking in, with myself, but at the same time, making sure that when I'm talking with someone, I feel comfortable enough to say I, when I do or do not want to do something. I'm not a 100% people pleaser, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. I like to try to be as polite as possible, but if someone was really aggressive, which people have been aggressive as f in the past, I will put them in their place. I don't like to, but I have to. It's just something you just have to do. So how I would set boundaries basically is explain why it's, it's, this is not gonna happen. I know you think this was gonna go this way, but this is not gonna happen. And if you don't respect that, just get away from me. And if you don't want to respect me as a person and, and see me as a person and just be my friend, stay away from me, don't, don't even contact me because I'm not gonna settle for, I'm not going to abuse myself because I'll have to please someone else. I don't wanna do that because that's not, you're lying to yourself when you allow others to manipulate you. And I can't let people manipulate me, I can't do that. I feel like, I mean, I haven't set boundaries in dating. I know it would be different, but like in my general relationships, I feel like communication is incredibly important. Um, I think that it, is really crucial to like any relationship success um, and to be able to have those conversations. Uh, and I know that I've struggled with that in my life to have conversations where I'm like, I'm not comfortable with that. Like I'm kind of at times really touch adverse. Um, it kind of fluctuates. So like sometimes I need to have that conversation with people that's like, well, not right now. Like I'm really fine with not. Um, or being like, yeah, no, like that's fine. Um, and it really depends, but I think that being able to have a dialogue around it and to feel comfortable enough to be like, I don't really want to hug, or to be like, you're great, but like maybe not right now, or, you know, and to have them respect your boundaries um, because you'll have like that mutual sense of trust. Um, it's sometimes hard to find because, you know, people think and feel differently around touch and around all boundaries, I think, but. Um, you know, when you're able to find that with people, I think that that's a really, it's a green flag for sure. You can support our short film about asexuality by contributing to our crowdfunding campaign through the link in our bio. Thank you.